From July 1st this year, banks with higher risk exposures will start paying increased premiums to the Kenya Deposit Insurance Corporation, KDIC, after the expiry of the one-year suspension due to the economic knocks of the COVID-19 pandemic. The funds collected by KDIC are used to secure bank depositors in case a bank is placed under receivership. To safeguard depositors' funds and banks, the Kenya Deposit Insurance Corporation will introduce the risk-based premium model, increasing the amounts contributed by banks depending on their risk assessment. Now banks now will be competing on how effective is your risk management framework because that is now what now will make you pay less premium than other banks. So now you will be now charged you'll be charged in accordance with your risk profile. Uh, the risk premium, the risk-based premium, will be one of our defense, uh, our defense tools in the banks to make sure that the banks are like, just like the Matatu, the speed governor. You cannot overspeed, you cannot overlend. You get it because you know you'll be exposed to risk. It's basically, it's, as, it's actually as simple as that. <laughs> Mohamud said that KDIC has 139 billion shillings in its deposit security fund against an exposure of 1 trillion shillings in case banks go under. This comes as KDIC increased the maximum deposit insurance cover limit to 500,000 shillings from 100,000 shillings last year. The introduction of the 500,000 shillings. So far we are covering 99% of the depositors in Kenyan banks. Of course, it also comes with its own price too, because at 500,000, our exposure as deposit insurance today, KDIC, is at 1 trillion shillings. In the unlikely event of a collapse of the banking sector, we are exposed to pay 1 trillion shilling to Kenyans, that's the 500,000 and below, from the previous 500 million. So you can see it is actually weighing on, on the fund of the, of the corporation. The new changes come in as three banks, Chase Bank, Dubai Bank and Imperial Bank, collapsed under the weight of suspect dealings, including unsecure insider loans. The deposit insurance fund ran by KDIC was created to compensate depositors of failed institutions and to boost confidence in the banking industry that was rocked by a series of bank failures in the 80s and early 90s. Faisal Ahmed, Citizen TV, Nairobi.